Hey everybody, we are teaching Gravity Sketch. And this episode is all about the controllers themselves. As you can see, I'm using a Valve Index, but any friendly HMD and their controllers will work. It only uses a limited number of buttons and things, and they are fairly standardized across the systems. Now, as you can see, my setup is right-handed where I have the right hand as the brush, where I'm actually creating the pieces. I also have the left hand, which is the tool palette. It brings up the different tools and options. Now there is a setting for right-handed, left-handed options. So if you are left-handed, you can set to draw it that way. Likewise, if you only have use of one hand, you can set one controller to be a static options while you're using the, the paintbrush in your main dominant hand. Now the paint controller mostly has two main buttons besides the trigger and grip. Your thumb buttons control your color and your main undo. So if I paint a stroke, but I don't want it, or if I make an option and I don't like it, your brush hand thumb button has your undo, the red button. Likewise, it's got color. So if I paint something and use that color option, so I'm going to grab my object and use the thumb color option. You can see how it does change the color of the object itself. Not only can I change the color, but it's also got these material blobs across the top. Basic gives you your light and shadow. Reflective is your metallic surface. Tune gives it that black outline. It also does exaggerated light and color. The final material is called flat material. And as you can see, there's almost no shadow and color. So depending on what you're trying to make this object represent, we've got these different color options to give you different materials as well as different colors. Now your offhand, your other hand, will have the main controls. If you have a joystick, that joystick will often have a little clock symbol on it. That actually lets you reel back in time as a series of undos. You can see I'm actually spiraling that clock back in time to take my object back in time. It's actually reeling back the different pieces. The center thumb trigger brings up your different sketching tools. So you can see, not only do I have this single stroke sketch, but I've also got things like the revolve to make different objects in different perfectly round styles, vases and candlesticks. We've got a tool for surfaces, which actually lets me draw out a sheet almost, which I can then manipulate and reshape to whatever size I want. So our main tools are that purple center thumb trigger coming off your controller. The little blue lines will bring up your main menu for saving and settings and that type of thing. Clicking that same blue lines will get it away. Now that blue button will change if you're actually gripping and holding an object. If you're holding an object, that blue button now you can see becomes little lines. That is your editing the object. Once you've clicked that thumb, now it adds the control points and our ways to different uh, grab parts of our object, stretch it out. And we'll talk about these types of controls in its own lesson. That blue trigger will now save your options, your changes. So just like most of our VR art tools, one hand is your brush with basic brush controls. The other hand controls all of your palettes, your tools, and your options. And your standard thumb triggers will manipulate them. You can see how there's a light sphere around the hand grip of my controller. And when I squeeze, it turns red. That's how you can grab objects and move them around. An interesting note, if you grab, see how I can get two objects overlapping? If you grab multiple objects, your center thumb trigger becomes a group tool. So now these are considered one piece. So let's move this into here, get them all highlighted, 
and group them together. Now, no matter which part I grab, they're all considered one piece. While I'm holding that, again, that blue becomes an ungroup, and I can now split off, ungroup, those individual pieces again. So these are your main controller uses. Like many art tools, they're going to feel similar, but they are slightly different. Your undo might not be in the same place you're used to from other programs. So this will take some practice to get used to. But Gravity Sketch, you can see it's a very powerful program to very quickly put together, create, whether it's a sculpture or a machine, Gravity Sketch controllers are how you're going to manipulate your objects in the world. I hope this is helpful. I hope this gives you some ideas on what you're doing and what to do with them. Let me go back to my simple stroke tool so I can put up our usual message. Let us know if you have questions in the comments below. Wow, I can't even read that against my shirt. Yes, you can a little bit. Uh, let us know if you have uh, suggestions for lessons. Let us know if you have tools that don't quite work for you. This is Gravity Sketch, a VR design and development tool. Have fun, guys. I look forward to seeing what you guys create.